Latex versus latex. Now, why such a title? Well, there's two different kinds of latex, and there's two different ways of making it into foam. And it's important for you to know the differences. Uh, there's synthetic latex, which is styrene butadiene, and then there's natural latex, or the sap of a tree. Uh, I can't pronounce the name of the tree, it's a little sophisticated, uh, so I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but it's a rubber tree for, for easy terms. Um, synthetic latex is, of course, man-made latex. Now there's two ways of making latex into foam rubber. There's the towel lay process, and then there's the Dunlop process. Um, you could say that the Dunlop process is the original and more primitive process. The towel lay is more sophisticated. Uh, more technically advanced way of making it into foam. Now why is there a difference and why is it important? Well, 95% of all talalay latex is synthetic latex. In other words, it's synthetic blend. It's a blend about 70% uh, synthetic, 30% natural. It's mostly synthetic. It's important to know because synthetic latex is not as durable as natural. I've used synthetic latex in the past, like everything, I had learned the hard way, uh, synthetic latex is not as durable as natural. So uh, in my mattresses I use only natural latex. But the reason it's important to know is because when you talk to manufacturers they're going to say they use natural latex or they're going to say they use 100% latex. And synthetic blended latex, technically they get away with saying it's natural because it has natural in it. About 20-30% is the sap of a tree so it has natural in it. And then you also have it, when they say 100% latex, well, synthetic latex is technically latex. So it's 100% latex. But those words are very deceiving. You've got to be careful. Um, of course, you want 100% pure natural, the sap of a tree. You do not want synthetic. I've used it. Again, it does not last. So when you hear the word talalay latex, understand it is a more advanced process of making the latex rubber into a piece of foam rubber. Uh, but the talalay process, 95% of all talalay that's produced is synthetic. It's not going to last as long, not even remotely close to long, as the real process. Now Dunlop process latex is this, can be either way. It can be natural, it can be done a synthetic blend. In the mattresses that I produce, I use nothing but Dunlop 100% pure natural, the sap of a tree. Uh, the finished product of rubber is 97% or 98% pure, the sap of a tree. It does have other minute ingredients uh, that goes into it in the vulcanization process and producing it into a piece of foam. So you want Dunlop, you don't want Talalay. Talalay means it's going to be synthetic. You want 100% natural Dunlop. That's the only way to get it 100% natural. Again, there is some minute traces out there, producers of natural talalay. It's hard to find because it's very expensive. You're using 100% the sap of a tree and then you're using the most advanced method of making it into foam. Guess what? It's going to be expensive. That's why the manufacturers of talalay are using synthetic. It's cheaper. I hope this clears up, clears, clarifies all of the uh, questions you may have about the differences in latex. Uh, please advance to some of my other videos so you can learn even more about my mattresses and different uh, aspects of mattresses. Thank you for watching.